Hello, astrology lovers. Today I'm with world famous astrologer Nikola Stojanovic from Serbia, who is uh, probably one of the most unique astrologers I've met, and he uh, has made amazing world predictions uh, for the last 20 years that have been coming true. And today I want to present uh, Nikola Stojanovic. I've had personally horoscope with him three years ago when I just got married and he predicted to me, oh, you're going to have another marriage. And I was a bit upset with him. And I was like, uh, you don't tell something to someone who's just got married. I couldn't lie, you know. Astrology, I know, is, not, and you astrology said, is to say the truth. You know. I know, and Nicola was so uh, amazing. He said, you're going to go on a holiday to the States and you're going to live there and you're going to meet your future third, third husband there. And that's exactly what happened. And he said, you're going to be on the West Coast. And he said, what career my future husband will have? And I was like, he, he cannot know those things. Psychics, you know, maybe. You called me and, and, and told me that I forgot. You know, I have so many clients, you know, millions of clients. I know, and, and uh, I send you all my friends you? after that <laughs> to have readings with you. <laughs> are, they, are they satisfied? I hope so. <laughs> No, he's amazing. And when all those things happened, I, I had to connect with Nicola. And I said, Nicola, will you teach my viewers how to see? And I said, person? I will. I uh, know. And that's why we're making a webinar in May. Nicola has I been a day. people for last uh, 20 years, you know. So I'm, yeah. I have a good school of astrology, you know. Yeah, and Nicola has a school I, of I astrology. Made lots of very good astrologers. You know, Serbia, uh, it is. Astrology in Serbia, many people don't know that, is a hobby here, you know. Uh, there are too many people here that uh, read about astrology, try to learn. You have a lot of doctors, advocates, you know, a lot of engineers, you know. If you ask in the street somebody uh, his sign and accident, everybody will tell you. They wow. all know. It's very <laughs> esoteric. I have a lot of clients from Serbia. No, 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 no. Really, but I did it, you know, me and a few guys did that, you know, because we, we were very strong here. We, we gave lots of accurate prognosis, especially me, you know. And you and, made them on, on newspapers? And, and I, I wrote articles, I published articles in the best uh, newspapers here in magazines. You know? Yeah, that's how I found <laughs> you, through articles on the internet when you made predictions about, uh, uh, and, and actually Nicole has predicted correctly uh, the economic crisis, the coming of Obama as a president, the coming of Trump as president. Uh, uh, a very interesting story about Obama, you know. I wrote uh, an article uh, and when I said that black men will be president in the United States of America, you know. And I wrote that artic article in August uh, 1997. Wow, Nobody, that's like 10 years before. Obama, you know, Obama was unknown at that time, you know. And when I uh, and uh, I sent that article via email, you know, and uh, the, the editor in charge called me next day. Nicole, you must come to my office very quickly. Come, come, you know. I went there. I was confused. What's going on? What's wrong? You know. And he told me, I can't publish this. I said, why? Be, this is insane, you know. How come in America and uh, black men? can be a president, you know, it's, it is, a, you know, are you on drugs? He asked me, are you on drugs? You know? <laughs> and I said, you know, I see that in, in the chat of America, it, it is very easy to see, you know. Oh, shall I open oh, the chart? Very easy to see. Yes, we can open the chart. Let's, guys, just let's let's guys go send me a few charts and I will open yeah. and share them. Uh, this so, is the, the first chart I sent you. Yeah, just take a, uh, my word is open my uh, did you open yeah i'm just trying to open it but it's just the program is taking longer it is very easy you'll see come on then open uh example chart but i also said that when america uh, uh we, we would have a black man president uh, they will start to fall down you know yeah, tell us and about the exact prediction. Here is listen what, what happened, you know. Uh, America had Obama for two main days, yes. And uh, what happened during the, these eight years? 
um, Russia become very, very, very strong. China become very, very, very strong. So uh, never in the history of America uh, uh, had so uh, strong opponents, you know. Yeah, can, can so you tell us? When, yeah. you let, when you let your enemy to be stronger and stronger, it uh -huh. means you are weaker and weaker, you know. Yes. It is and can you tell and us? Russia is very, 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 very strong. Nobody can beat Russia now. Yeah. Wow. Um, <laughs> I talk with Russians. You know, I talk with Russians because Putin uh, might be killed. You know, might be. Uh, there, there were maybe more than ten uh, assassination attempts on his life. You know. Yeah. And they are killing him. You know. And, and I, I said to them, "What will happen when they, if they kill Putin, President Putin?" You know? Uh, they told me uh, Putin might be dead, but his ideas are not. Oh. <laughs> so very, very, very strong. You, you know, nothing will happen if they kill him. You know, nothing. So it will. And Russia will continue. Very, very strong. And don't forget India. Nobody talks about India. India is very strong. So, so America during Obama got extremely strong enemies. Yeah. Extremely and, and you saw this from the chart of America. Yes, uh, uh, look at the chart America. Uh, the 10th house is the house of presidency. It begins in the sign of Libra, yes. And what planets, what planet we have in the 10th house? We have Saturn, you know. Saturn rules with black people. Ah, okay, so Saturn rules darker or African-American people. Like, you know, white people, listen, white people are areas. Mars, yeah. And that's why uh, white people are ruling the world. Why? Because the sun is is in, is in the sign of exaltation area. Yeah. Oh, so the sun is kingdom. White people are ruling, you know. Uh, and also, uh, Chinese are uh, Libra. Yeah. Yellow, you know, people Libra, and black people, Indians, uh, um, Indians. I mean, Indians in America are Neptune, uh, Pisces. Okay. But black, black, black people are uh, Saturn, you know, and okay. Capricorn. So in, in a chart of merit, it's easy, you know, it is, look, in the 10th house, the house of presidency, there is Saturn. Yeah. yeah. But Saturn, Saturn is also the planet that will pull you down. And uh -huh. during Obama, you, you got very strong Russia, China, and other countries. Because you know. Saturn okay. is about it, falling down. Very, you know, yeah. It was very easy to yeah. see, very easy, believe me. So you made the prediction, a black president comes, but uh, if we yes, America, like, I didn't like know it. who, you know, I didn't know who. Nobody knew yeah. for Obama at that time. You yeah. Know. Wow. You know. <laughs> I only said, you know, that black man will be president, you know. And also in, in that, uh, my, that article, I said, that America will go into fight with Muslims. So oh. in that article, I yeah, three accurate prognosis, you know. How did you that see America, that America will go into war with Muslims? Excuse me, what did you say? How, how did you see that America will go into war with Muslims? Uh, well, uh, you know the 12th house. Yeah. The house of six enemies, you know, is in the sign of uh, Scorpio. Scorpio rules with mo Muslims, you know. Oh yeah, here we go, guys. Here is Scorpio, 12th house is secret enemies. And uh, you know, Scorpio are Muslims. Yeah, and, and the Lord, one of the planets that rules Scorpio is Mars. Why Scorpio are Muslims? Look where they most of them live. They live in deserts. Yeah. You know. You know, yes. deserts are ruled uh, by, by the sign of Scorpio, you know. I, I love so how you know Muslims these live in deserts, you know. They, they only have oil, you know. Why they have oil? Because Pluto is, is in, in the sign of its exaltation in Pisces, you know. In Pi Pluto is exalted in Pisces? Yes, Pluto is exalted in the sign of Pisces, yes. Oh, I didn't know and that. Pisces rules with oil, you know. Uh huh. And that's um, why they have, you know, it's very easy to, to understand this. I love how you know rulership so well, how you've observed. Yeah, yeah. Listen, uh, this was invented by one of my students. One of my students 
wrote me a letter and said, ah, I can find out where Pluto is in its sign of exaltation. I said, what sign? In, in the sign of Pisces, you know, and she wrote an article about that. And it is true, believe me, it is true. Wow. Listen, uh, you have many uh, movies and TV series about life in prison, you know. <laughs> and what, what is happening in prisons? You know, many people have been killed there, you know. Yeah. How come, you know? You know, uh, it is because of Pluto, is Pluto to kill somebody, you know. Many people were, were raped there and, and it is very dangerous to be in prison, you know. It is very, why it is dangerous? Because of the Pluto. Because Pisces Pluto rules prisons, yeah? Yeah, yeah. that is the, the reason why. And okay. Pluto is exalted in Pisces, yeah. Yes, it is. I, I will put that article at my site. Yeah, wonderful. It's written by one of my students. Okay. Nicola's website is called Astrology in Serbia. How is it called? And I'm making a new one. I have two uh -huh. sites, you know, very old one. I first site I made in 2002, and the new one was made in um, 2006, seven maybe. But now I'm making a new, new, new one. You know. Yeah. Oh, we're looking forward to that. I've been looking forward for that <laughs> in English, so I can read your tutorials there. So. In English, yeah. And the next. And I will one. also publish my books in English. You know, um, yes. the first book will go out, in, I think, in two months' time. You know, we're looking forward and to that. The moment, it is um, in process of trans translation. You know. Oh, I can't yeah. wait for this. You know, many people from the world ask me about my books, and I decide, okay, I will translate it, and I will sell it. I didn't want that before. I, I can't you tell you. I can't tell you why. <laughs> but it wasn't my wish. But but why not? Why not? Now is the time. I, I should share my knowledge. You know, you know, uh, in ex Yugoslavia, you know, I, I saw so many books in ex Yugoslavia because they all speak Serbian language. Yeah. So, uh, from well, Slovenia to Macedonia. You're yeah. the most famous astrologer there, <laughs> basically. Yeah. I know, I know. That. I know that. Okay, so the next chart you've sent me is the one from Brexit for the UK. Yes, yes, yes. Here it, it is. It was also very you know, The night before exit, before voting, I wrote an article at my forum, at my site, and I also put that at my Facebook page. And I said that tomorrow they will vote for going out of Europe, you know. Yeah. How did they see it? Um, when we look at the chart of UK, uh, the ascendant is in the sign of Libra. Yes. So okay. listen, people in a chart of one nation, people are the moon, and but also the ascendant, you know. So okay. people... The ruler of accident is Venus in the sign of Aquarius, you know. Aquarius yeah. rules with split, break, uh -huh. with divorces. And also, in the sign of Libra, Libra is partnership. They yeah. have Uranus, Uranus, you know. Yeah. The planet of divorce, split, you know. And Uranus is very near to uh, the, the accident. And it is in opposition with the seventh house, the house of partnership. So, so yeah. British have, have in their chart that they can't be long in some partnership. Wow, you that's just, the first point. Do you understand? You don't that's even look at transit or anything, you just but, but no, 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 wait, 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 wait. At the day of voting, you know, the moon yeah. was in the yeah. sign of Aquarius, you know. Oh, oh. do you understand? The moon are voters, people. And they will vote for what? To break, you know. Aquarius. So it was, break, me, it was easy for me to give that prognosis to. It was easy. Wow. So Aquarius is separating. separating. Yeah. <coughs> you know, Brit Britons can't be long in some partnership. Yes. Generally, overall, they're much better off. Listen, they must be in partnership with America because America is a strong country, you know. They have. Uh, very good weapons and uh, and britain is a small country you know and that is what they must do to be in, in partnership with america you know. but with europe no 
Wow. And, and why I explained why they go out, you know, because you know, um, lots of things uh, are happening uh, behind our back. You know, many people don't know what's going on. You know, many people don't know because why? Because they brainwashed you. You know, yes. about ninety ninety percent of people are brainwashed, and they they do that perfectly. You know? So so you you people don't have. Uh, power to think, you know, they don't want to think. And uh, what is beside that Brexit? America is pushing Europe in war to Russia. Uh huh. You think uh -huh. that they're trying to. And, think and England, uh, you know, Britain want to go out of it, you know. They don't want to be under the bombs on Russians, you know. So that's the reason why they went out. Wow. That is the only reason. Wow. <laughs> And you could see it from the chart. From and people, you know, people in Europe don't understand what's going on. You know, they they they, they don't see that America is not only in war with Russia. America is also in war with Europe. Mm -hmm. But they don't mm -hmm. realize that. You know, and you know, we had two world wars. You know, yeah. Um, and the yeah. same story happened. You know, Europe were in fight. You know. Um, so, so they said, why not the third time? <laughs> wow, I hope, I hope wow. not. I hope, I hope not. <laughs> and listen, 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 listen what happened to me here, you know. I gave an interview last summer, uh -huh. uh, after, after they tried to kill a uh, Turkish president, Erdogan, you know. Yeah. They tried to kill him, uh, because he didn't listen to them. I mean, not a pact, you know. And uh, I wrote an article, I gave an interview. Then, you know, when something very big happened in the world, they all called me to explain what's going on. <laughs> because I know that, really. And um, uh, I was for, forbidden, you know. That interview never see the daylight. And nobody calls me after that. Yeah. Because I said uh, something, uh, uh, several things that shouldn't be said, you know. Upset, that would upset they, they, they were, you know, we are occupied country by a Western country. Yes. And uh, our rulers are, you know, their puppies. Yes, so that's they must true. Yes, to that's them. True. So we don't have democracy here anymore. You know? mm -hmm. We don't have democracy. So they forbid them. Okay. Um, what can I do? You know, I can't do anything. <laughs> wow. And just okay, to come okay. back to, to Brexit, do you think Britain will be better off the UK without the European Union? Do you think they'll get, uh, they'll grow better without the European Union? Or do you think they'll get weaker? They will get weaker because, you know, but, but listen, why? Because the whole world will be weaker, you know. Uh -huh. uh, the great crisis is coming, you know. The, the whole world is now in the Third World War, you know. Wow. The Third World War is in process, you know. Oh, my God. You think it's going to happen? Yeah, yes, it is, you know, it is. Wow. Uh, we, it, it, it is a question when we are, if it, they will start with, with weapons, you know. And, and next three years will be very, very difficult for all of us, you know, next three years. You think the war will become proper then? Donald Trump, Donald Trump um, has Mars, the planet Mars, to be in war at the very accident. So, we, and, and now transiting Mars is coming into his 10th house, the house of presidency. Mm -hmm. So he'll become he more militant. He, he has Uranus in the 10th house. He will, he start bombing Uranus, you know, and he will bomb many, much more. So you think the war like is really wow? So you think you'll start more wars and no, really, really next three years. I don't want that, you know. Don't understand me, you know. I, I'm I like to live, you know, and I have a very nice life, a very nice life. <laughs> but I like have my beautiful wife, and uh, we like to travel a lot, and I have my own family, you know. I like to live. I enjoy life. But you're and scared I know for the enjoy. world. But you're scared for the world by the side sound of it. Uh, am I scared of what? But you're scared for the world that it's going bad. Yes, yes, yes. In Serbia, we, we will not have war, you know. Not in Serbia. We had enough wars. 
where do you think it's gonna yeah, go? It'll be, you know, we are end of story. It will be end of story. But there will be war at the Balkan Balkans uh, mm -hmm. with Kosovo, you know, with Greece, with in Macedonia, in Montenegro, and Turkey. Oh no, Turkey! You think is going? Yes, 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 yes. And Russia and the States as well. Russia, oh, they are very strong. Mm -hmm. Nobody can beat them. <laughs> they have the fantastic, you know, Russian chart is fantastic, you know. Do we they will, after this war, they will rule the world. You think that Russia is the coming power in the in the yes. years? Yes, yes, yes. They also have, you know, secret weapons, you know. Listen, Uranus were passing for six years, uh, was passing the sign of... Uh, Five years, the sign of areas. Areas rules with weapon. What did what did the Russians do? They develop their weapons. weapons. So you think they and have really Russian, strong weapons? Russian were born, were born, sorry, under the sign of Pisces. You know, nobody can understand that sign. You know, so Russia they, they, is Pisces. Pisces, you know, okay. and Pluto. Pluto, the most dangerous planet, is in, in the sign of exaltation in Russia. So when they when they go to war, you know, they will be terrible. They will, they will have no mercy. You know? Oh my no. God! Wow. Huh. Okay, let me get back to the charts uh, that you sent. Me. Yes, let's go. Let's go back. Yeah. yeah the next chart I have that you sent me is about uh, Zoran. Yes, Zoran Djinjic was our prime minister. Yeah, who was assassinated, and you had yes, predicted yes. that he will be killed. Yes, yes. Uh, he was very, very, very nice guy. You know? Very intelligent, nice looking, very good speaker. You know, his accident is at the third degree, the degree of Gemini. Such Sagittarius. Yes. Yeah. Uh, very good speaker, fantastic speaker. You know, uh, and he was very good for our country. He wanted to do something. You know. Yeah. He was I not only a puppy. You know? that, wanted, that's his chart. That's why he was he was killed, because. When you are a puppy, you must listen what they say to you. You you can't do what you what you want, you know. And that is the only reason why he was killed. And listen, he, uh, look at his chart. He has the sun. Yeah. In the sign of Leo, you know, Leo is it to be at power. Rule. So when he be when he become prime minister, the sun in Leo, his life sun is life also. Yeah. In the eighth house was in danger, you know. Oh yes, the sun is in the eighth house. Because I like him, you know. Uh, one woman, uh, you, you know, when politicians are at the top, mm -hmm. they are sending someone in their name, you know. So one woman came to me, very close uh, co-worker uh, with him, you know. And I, yeah. I, when I opened the chart, you know, I needed only a few seconds. I said. She will, she, she will be killed, you know. Oh, my God. Oh, she said, what are you talking, you know? She will be, uh, you know, and, and I explained her. And, she, and you just she saw it from the sun in the eighth house, yeah. Yeah, but look the aspects. The sun ah. is in square. Mars. Yes. The ruler of the 12th house assassination. In the sign of Scorpio assassination. 12 hours hidden and the bull, enemies. And the bull, you know, listen, also Mars is in opposition to Jupiter, the ruler of accident. Oh, yes, here we Jupiter go, is ruling his accident, his body, you know, himself. And also the first ruler of 12 house, the house of assassination plot, is it's Pluto, Mars. square to Jupiter, ruler oh. of accident. So oh. there are too many, you know, too many aspects. Yeah. Too many, too many, you know, too many. I love how and, you're and, not afraid to predict such scary. Didn't tell him that. Listen, listen. That woman didn't tell him that. And uh, one one year be, before he was killed, I gave an interview. Yeah. I want to warn him because I know he he must read it in newspapers. So my interview was at the front page. You know, I said that he might be killed. You know. I wanted to warn him. I wanted him to read it, you know. Yeah. And and listen, in this chart, you have Uranus 
Uranus is the astrologer, yes? The astrologer, here it is. He created the house, the house of death. So astrologer, Uranus in the sign of Cancer. Cancer means domestic astrologer, me. Local, yeah. Local, yeah. Uh, told him that he would be killed, you know, Uranus in the eighth house. Oh my I God. Oh my God. And, and listen, listen. Um, the killers came from foreign countries, you know. The order to kill him came from some mighty foreign country. Why? Because Sun is ruling the eighth, the ninth, the, the ninth house, you know, the house of foreign foreign countries. Foreign yes? countries. And the Sun is at the ninth degree, the degree of Sagittarius, foreign countries. Foreigners. Oh yeah. yeah. It's uh, so some uh, you know, some mighty country, Sun in Leo, ordered his killing. I won't. I won't say what country. Wow, you know though. <laughs> but you know, it is easily seen. It is also easily seen. Yeah. And I must tell you this. You know, I must tell you this. Um, a few years after he was murdered, uh, I, I met quite accidentally the ambassador of that country. And what happened? He started staring at me. And he stared at me for maybe one, two minutes, you know. And, and I noticed that, you know. And I asked myself how he can know me, you know. And then I remembered, because I was in newspaper telling that our prime minister will be killed and that country wow. killed him. Oh, my God. And, and then, then listen, 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 listen. When I got home that uh -huh. day, I, I did the chart of that meeting, accidental meeting. Uh -huh. you, do you know where, where was the sun, you know? The sun was in the sign of Libra. Libra is uh, ambassador, you know. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. At 22nd degree, the degree of kill or Murder. to be killed. Yeah. Can you imagine? Wow. So the sun at that moment was in Libra, ambassador. So I met the ambassador of the country who killed my prime minister. Oh, my God. This is like, I'm getting this far. I'm getting this far. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. Classic story, you know. You know, when, when I found out, when one neighbor, you know, my neighbors in, in the building where I live with my ex-wife, uh -huh. uh, the most informed people in, in Serbia, you know, because they asked me what will happen, and I'm telling, I told them. You know. So one neighbor, he's, he was, he's a pilot, came to me and said, you know, listen, who, who told me that Gingich was murdered? A pilot, Uranus rules with pilots. Gingich has Uranus in the house. So one pilot came to me, you know, Nikola, Nikola, you know, Gingich was murdered, you know. <laughs> oh my God, <laughs> you can predict with such detail. I mean, it's amazing. Yes, I can, I can, I can, I can. <laughs> The next I, will teach you, I will teach your public how to do that. Yes, it, it guys. Is easy. Yeah. You know, astrology, when you, when you have a right knowledge, astrology is easy. Yeah, Nicole is, yeah, making, most a easy, most Nicole most is making a course with Astrolada in May. Uh, I'll send you the link, guys. How to see your marriage partners, first, second, yes, how to make yes. a difference between... We'll do that lecturing in May. I will tell you what date, you know. I, I must see, you know, the transits, what day is the best, you know, and I will let you know. But people can, uh, people have already bought 20 or 30 seats before even you said what the date is from my okay. website. So, guys, if you buy before May, before we do the webinar, it's $10 off uh, and it's only $29.99. If you buy after that, it's, the price is going to rise up. But come and secure your seat because it will be an amazing webinar. Nicola, just like how he predicted for me the marriages and relationships, he'll teach you how to do that. <laughs> so you see what kind of knowledge we you have know, people, here. Uh, when they uh, look at their chart, you know, many people here in Serbia, you know, are learning astrology, many, many of them. And, and they, what is the problem? You know, they think uh, that uh, they must see marriage partners to the, their fifth house, you know. Mm -hmm. But that is a mistake, you know, why? Because fifth house has no connection with the seventh house. The seventh house is the house of marriage. Yes. And so our, our, our husband or wife must um, be a, like a seventh house, not fifth. You know? 
but but they say but I must have um, uh, love affair with him. It is fifth house. No, no, they must look like like seventh house. And I will teach you. Oh, I can't wait for that. I'm going to be there <laughs> learning with my notes as well. Okay, let's carry on to the next chart that you've sent me. The next chart is Donald Trump, you know. You know, um, one astrologer from Israel asked me, my colleague, you know, in it was September 2015, you know. Yeah. Uh, I just came back from my holiday. You know, when you're an astrologer, you can go on holiday when, whenever you want and, and stay as much as you want. It is good to be a soldier, you know. <laughs> so we were traveling a lot, you know, maybe maybe almost two months, and, and I came back here to Serbia. Uh, and uh, she sent me a note via Skype, you know. Yeah. She, she asked me who would win in America, you know. It was September 2015. I, I said Donald Trump, you know. But he was not Donald even, Trump. he hasn't even become a candidate then. <laughs> yes. But look at his chart. Okay, let me show. Uh, his asset, listen, he, he, Donald Trump accident okay. is a, a, in the sign of um, Leo, yes. And yes. there is a fixed star called the Regulus, you know. The ruler. The Regulus. He, Regulus, yes, yes. The Regulus represent rulers. Regulus will put you at the top of anything, you know. Yes. Do you remember Monica Lewinsky? Yes, I remember. Uh, Love affair with uh, uh, yeah. Monica Lewinsky with American president. Yes, yeah. uh, Monica Lewinsky was born under the uh, ascendant in uh, Libra, and her eighth house, the house of sex, was in the sign of Taurus. You know, uh -huh. so the ruler of ascendant, her, and eighth house sex uh, is Venus. The Do same. you know where is her Venus? At Regulus. You know, oh, so she so must. Sex with the president, you know. Yeah, sex with the president. <laughs> Wonderful. So, Donald Trump, his ascendant is at Regulus. But look, uh, the ruler of his ascendant, where is the ruler? In the 10th house. Absolutely. The house of president, presidency, you know. Yes, there we so, go. Uh, I remember, you know, a few months ago, I, I listened to his one of his interviews when he was much younger. Yeah. And the newspaper man asked him uh, on TV, uh, he asked him, when will you be our president? L yeah. Listen, yeah. Um, in his 10th house, the House of Presidency, Donald Trump has the sun and also there is Uranus, you know. Uranus is future uh -huh. in the sign of Gemini. Gemini is newspaper uh, man, you know, journalist. Uh -huh. Also, uh, Gemini, Gemini is also TV, you know. Media so, TV. Uh, also, yeah. Gemini is also in, to give interview. Yes. Gemini, Gemini. So he asked him, uh, when will you be president? Uh -huh. So you have the sun in the 10th house, in the house of presidency, uh, in conjunction with Uranus. Uranus, Uranus is future. Future prediction. In the yes. newspaper on yes. TV, yeah. And he asked him that, so you can see that sentence in his chart, you know. Yeah. And he said, I mean, I'm still young, I will do that when I am older. And said, Trump is now older, much older man. And why he decided to be a president when he is old? Because his son, ruler of her astronaut, he. Yeah. Is at the 22nd degree. That degree is the degree of Capricorn. When we, when he is old. Okay. <laughs> yes. And we're gonna speak. And and, and and we came to a new prognosis. Donald Trump will be killed. <gasps> oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> Why? No, no. Uh, look at his eighth house. His eighth house begins at the 22nd degree of Pisces, you know. Pisces. Pisces are assassinations at times, you know. Oh, really? 22nd degree to be killed. Yeah. And the son, ruler of accident, his accident, yeah. that represents him, is exact square to the 
cap, cusp of the eighth house. Here it is, the square. So it must happen. Wow. It must happen. So there sorry, will be, sorry to say that. There will be an assassin you know, when, attempt. When he became president, everybody was surprised. Why? Because he has Uranus to be surprised in his 10th house. Yeah. So everybody was surprised, yes. And uh, momentarily uh, in America, we had lots of demonstration of people, you know, people were angry and they like they wanted to demonstrate against him. Why? Because Uranus demonstrations in the 10th house, he became president. Unexpectedly, 10, 10 house president is in opposition to the moon. People. You know, moon are people. Yes. Yeah. And they all go out. Huh? Wow. So you think, but, do you know when this can happen? No, no. Listen, uh, when you when you give such prognosis, don't say who who will do do that, and don't say when. Why? Because you might be in danger. I can be in danger. You know. My God. Yeah. You know what happened? When they killed Gingrich, you know, my student told me he saw it on TV. You know, he saw my picture, and they were talking about killing uh, our prime minister. You know. Oh my God. And they said that killers um, uh, use uh, services of astrology. Can you imagine? They wanted to, co to connect me with that killing. Oh my God, no. Oh my God, no. <laughs> Believe me. And I thought they will arrest me. You know? <coughs> but they didn't. They didn't. Wow, we have to be careful. Wow. <laughs> yeah, I know, I know. Listen, I'm, I'm careful. I know what I have. I know my chart, you know. I, I I know what I may say, what I may not say, and I, I, I don't do I don't do mistakes, and I'm alive, you know. Here I am, yeah. Wow. wow. <laughs> well, we made some. Well, we made some world predictions, world here, predictions guys. here, guys. <laughs> it's, uh, it's uh, yeah, I think yeah. Uh, intense. Maybe I spoiled your evening or day, you know, but. What can I do? Wow. Yeah. And, and I wanted to, uh, Nicola has created the degree theory, which works yeah. amazing. Uh, that actually you can read from his website exactly what the degree theory is. But uh, if, if we have time, we can, we can give a few examples. Nicola has discovered the connection Excellent. between each degree uh, and each sign. And this is such uh. a amazing way of reading charts that gives you amazing detail you have much more information much more much more when you use material well, I remember much more when i gave you my for example letter. look at the chart of, of merlin modern uh, i will explain every de degree is related to corresponding sign Here so you me. have the first degree is related to the first sign of areas the second degree is related to the second sign of uh, the Taurus, you know, the third degree is related to the third sign of, and yeah. so on. When you come to the twelfth degree, it is related to the uh, twelfth sign of Pisces. Yes. Okay? What, what happened later? Thirteen degree. Uh -huh. Again, Aries. Uh -huh. Fourteen degree again Taurus. You know. And when you come to twenty fourth degree, the degree of Pisces, uh -huh. what happened later? You have 25th degree, the degree of Aries yes. again, 26th degree, the degree of Taurus, 27th degree, the degree of Gemini, 28th de degree, the degree of uh, Cancer, and 29th de de degree, the, the degree of Leo. And the next one is zero degree of the next side. Yeah, zero to one. Yes, yes. Zero degree, um, you have 12 zero degrees, you know. But you have that in my book, you know. Um, okay. And, and listen, Marilyn Monroe chart. Marilyn Monroe, Look here it is. Yeah. 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 Famous actor, famous beauty. Okay. Uh, her third husband, it is 11th house. One. Two, was three. very old, much older than her. Yeah. He was a writer, Arthur Miller famous writer at that time yeah uh, how yeah. can we see uh, listen her 11th house is in the house of gemini it means younger you know gemini yeah. is somebody younger yeah. but look at my degrees her 11th house begins at the cusp of the 10th 
Uh -huh. Degree. Uh -huh. The degree of Capricorn, yes. Older. It, older. Cap, degree of Capricorn means older. And, and there is the sun at the 10th degree, also yeah. older. Oh, so yes. her third husband was older, not younger. Wow. And he was <laughs> alive? Right? Gemini. Why? Because Mercury, the ruler of uh, her 11th house, is in the cyber. Gemini, Gemini is writing. But look at the degree. The sixth degree, the, the degree of vir Virgo to work. So he his work is to write. So he is wow. writer. Amazing. Okay. <laughs> so you can just look at the chart and say he will be a writer, older. His work will be writer. Amazing. <laughs> you can't see this with the classic astrology, you know. You must use my, my degrees, really. Do you think she was assassinated? She has 12 degrees yes, the center. Be. Listen, the ruler of her eighth house, Neptune, is, is at what degree? 22nd, to be killed. Uh, is that 22nd degree is to kill. Um, uh, my degrees, uh, I, I also have special degrees, you know, with special meaning. So you have the second degree is something of most importance. The fifth degree is the degree of the most erotic, you know. And the 15th degree is the degree of assassinations, and that degree is very bad for driving cars, you know. Lots of people died with, with the influence of this 15th degree, believe me. Uh -huh. The 18th degree is the worst degree. That is degree of devil, you know, devil. And that degree gives to people very bad destiny, you know. Something okay. bad must happen to them. 18th degree. So you have we mentioned 22nd degree, the degree to kill or to be, to be killed, and 29th degree is the degree of clairvoyance and degree of uh, accurate prognosis. My MC is at 29th degree of Taurus. I'm not clairvoyant, but I had so many accurate prognosis. Wow. <laughs> Amazing. What, yeah. so, so basically, okay. yeah, yeah. So she was killed. Yeah. Yeah. So sorry, people were asking me to show the chart. I, I, I obviously I they weren't able to see. Okay. You know. So yeah. but it will be remain mystery. Why mystery? Because Neptune is mystery. The eighth house in the house of Pisces. You know, it will remain mystery for a long time. Yeah, the eighth house, her death is ruled by Neptune, so it's mystery. We don't know what it is, and there are two very violent planets. Yes. yes. What do you think if we finish this conversation with uh, the examples? of the fifth de de degree. It gives very sexy people, very, very... Who, which chart should uh, I show? Uh, the last two charts. Your wife? The chart, <laughs> no, Dor Dor no, no, no. Dorothy Stratner. Dor Stratten? Dorothy... Dorothy Stratten. Just, just a and Sean Connery. Okay, here, I, I just got Sean Connery here. Yes, we can start with Sean Connery. Um, um, famous actor, naturally. Um, many, many women here, you know, said uh, uh, he is being older and being more sexy. You know? The older he gets, yeah, the sexy. Yeah. Because look at his accident. Uh -huh. His accident is in, in the sign of um, Capricorn, where is the ruler? The Saturn, the Saturn is at the fifth degree. Uh -huh. To be very sexy, very erotic. So, in the sign of Capricorn, to be older. So wow. he, Aston and the ruler of Aston and Saturn, at the fifth degree, being older, Capricorn, he is more and more sexy. <laughs> wow, yeah. You, I remember reading this and you gave so many examples of some of the sexiest, best looking people with, with having uh, fifth degree. Look at the chart of Dorothy Stratton. Stratton. Let me see. Is that her chart? Was, <laughs> Who is she? I don't know. Playmate. I said, Most attractive playboy yes, playmate. playmate. She was she was pronounced uh, for the most attractive and sexiest playmate of all times. Uh -huh. In Playboy, yes. Yes. So look at her accident. The fifth. At the fifth degree of Scorpio, you know. Uh, when people are born under the sun, uh, under the accident of Scorpio, they are sexy, you know. But to be the most, you know, sexiest, uh, yeah. 
it gives uh, the fifth degree gave it to her why do you think is the fifth degree it's connected to leo the fifth degree is it something yes it is but but this is the special meaning you know uh, fifth degree is also leo degree yes but fifth degree gives of any sign gives the most erotic and sex sexy people and i i i saw that in my life many times <laughs> wow guys check out your horoscopes do you have ascendant yeah. or ascendant lord in the fifth degree of any sign <laughs> look at that in the internet you know you have so many chat now and, and uh, ask yourself who, who, who what people are the sexiest and you will see but you also think that if a planet is retrograde it has the energy of the previous degree or um, yes, 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 yes. So yes, like yes, his, his Pluto, the Pluto which rules the ascendant is at four degree. So yes, bravo, bravo. energy of five. Lana, you are great. You are great. Yes, the ruler of her ascendant Pluto is at the four degree, but retrograde, so it has influence at the fifth degree. Yeah, bravo. Uh, guys, and so look, you're very you're very 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 her Lilith is, is at the fifth degree of Cancer. So her Lilith makes exact trying to her accident, her look. Her Lilith, oh yeah, here is the black moon, Lilith, here it is. Also, also at the fifth degree, you know. Wow. Making trying to, to accident, after accident is her body, her, her look. I'm gonna rectify my ascendant to five degrees. <laughs> I, <just laughs> <said it. laughs> I wanna be five degrees. Wow, and guys, it's amazing. But your accident is at the third degree. That's why you have internet conversations. You know? I know. <laughs> you, know how that. you know, we should make a course about those degrees. People would love to learn about each degree. <laughs> but listen, they can find a lot of articles at my site. Yeah. My, my old site is still operative. Um, so they can read. There is a, an English section. There are maybe more than 60 articles you know how, so is it called, it. how is the website called so people can reach you there my website is called astrology in serbia astrology, astrology in serbia yeah and uh, guys if you, you want a reading if you want a reading with nicola you can contact him there uh, they will, they will. <laughs> they, they, i love your confidence <laughs> so we're going to do uh, a webinar in May together. Uh, basically, uh, call uh, first first time I see, you know, where are the planets, what day is the best. I will tell you. Yes, and we're gonna be talking about how to see marriage, what marriage husband you or wife, and how and to recognize, you know, marriage partner, husband wonderful. or wife. Wonderful! Yeah. I can't wait. That will be. Everybody so will be happy. They'll, you know, they will find easily their partner. And you can also show us if it shows more than one marriage. Naturally, naturally. I will explain everything about marriage, everything. You know. Oh, that would be so interesting. But at least too many things gives divorce, too many things in the chart. <laughs> well, For example, it, listen, listen, it is enough to have the beginning of the seventh house as, at the degree of Aquarius. It is 11 degree and 23rd degree wow. in the correct chart. You know. If you have seventh house at these degrees, you must make divorce. You know. Only that is in, enough. Enough to show. You don't have to have Uranus in the seventh house. Yeah. Only wow. that is. <laughs> <laughs> that be so. I I'm excited. I can't wait to you learn. Know how my theory works. You know, one lady came to me, and the only um, uh, the only indicator of her divorce was. The, the cusp of her seventh house at 11th degree, the only one. Mm -hmm. And, you know, and that degree gave her Uranus degree divorce, you know. Yes, wow. There are no other any indicators, no other. But we need to really know our exact time of birth. Uh, but listen, 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 you can use, why is my theory fantastic? I use my theory of degree to find exact time of birth. Well, that's how you found my exact time of birth because I was yeah. uh, I had four or five minutes difference and you said your ascendant is at three degrees because also your first marriage was for papers and documents <laughs> so you yeah. said it's three oh, degrees. Seventh house is married at the third degree of 
third degree of, of Leo, yes. So the, that is degree of papers, you know. So you married him because of documents. Yeah, yeah, that's well, easy. easy. You, you, <laughs> you can play with it, you know. You can play with it. It's amazing how 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 easy you make astrology and how like like uh, other people make astrology about psychology, about emotion. No, 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 you no. do it about predictions. Bam, bam, bam. I, I use psychology only when I want people to understand why they make again and again the same mistakes. Yes. And then I use psychology. Mm -hmm. Not in ordinary reading. I, I don't mention psychology at all. You know. Amazing. Oh, we should do another interview again to speak about the moon because Nicola has such great article that I read about how you can see what will happen each day by the position of the moon. And it's so easy. It's like practical predictions. We'll, we'll do yeah. that next time because I think you, people will not... use the transit of moon to upbring my daughter, you know. To, to, to a... raise her. <laughs> so, you know, when the moon is in the sign of, for example, in the sign of Gemini, you know. She was six years old then, and I, I wanted my child to speak foreign languages, you know, because yeah. it is quite normal when you are in some intellectual family to speak foreign languages. It is normal healing Sabir. You must speak one or two. So what did they do? The moon was in the at the very beginning of Gemini. So I start speaking. My daughter was six years old. I start speaking with my ex-wife in English. And my daughter was, you know, Papa, Papa, what are you talking about? I can't understand anything, you know. Yeah. And I told her, you know, we speak in English. That language is spoken all around the world. And my daughter is Aquarius. She likes to uh, be with other people, to be friendly with other people. So yeah. I told her, if you want to have friends in America and England and otherwise, you, you will have to speak English because they don't know Serbian. Yeah. And next day, the very next day, I asked her, do you want to go to school to learn English? She, she said, yes, I want it. I want it. So basically, easy, you, can, you can use the moon to manipulate others. Yeah, no, 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 no. This is not a bad manipulation. <laughs> That's good. Yeah, exactly. But if you start something at the right time when the moon, like you said, no, I want okay, to... when I was the... listen, listen. My articles were the most read in Serbia. You know, I was the most popular newspaper in '97 or 1997, '98. Uh, many editors told me. So many newspapers want me to read, for, to write for them. What did they do? For, first of all, I have in my chart, you, you must understand your chart. In my chart, I have Mercury at the 23rd degree of Aquarius. So very strong Mercury. So I, I was, Mercury is ruling my ascendant. Uh -huh. I, Mercury, was writing articles from of astrology in Aquarius, you know, okay. at the degree of Aquarius. And my Mercury is in conjunction with the Moon. Moon is to be very popular. popular. Uh -huh. Yes. Yeah. So wow. I, I only use it. So what did I do? Uh, the, the, the magazine that I wrote, where I became very, very popular in, in all the old country, you know, people recognized me in the street. I was only astrologer. You know? I'm not a movie star, I'm not a sportsman. Yeah, yeah. But they all recognized me you know, in the street. Uh, what did they do? You know, uh, this uh, magazine called Argument mm -hmm. Uh, mm -hmm. was going out. Uh, you could buy that um, magazine on Monday. You know. yeah. So, so what did they do? I looked. Where is the moon on next Monday? Mm -hmm. So the position of the moon. Tells me what people would uh, would like to read, what yeah. theme, you know. Yeah. What, so I use it, you know. So it was yes, easy for me to find the theme. You know, yes, because the moon is the, the people. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> so you know, they, 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 you know, they uh, read my articles like like they were they were on drugs, you know. <laughs> 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 but I'm also a good writer. You know? I have good, nice style of writing, and I have good things. Amazing. I, I love, I'm sure people would rush to your website. My life, you know, naturally. And never do anything. Don't try to do anything when the moon is passing your 12th house. Okay, so that's time to rest. Do nothing. 
Better stay at home, you know, better sleep, you know, the 12th house, the house to be alone, you know. If you try to do anything important when the moon is passing your 12th house, you will do, you will do nothing, you know, and you will become nervous, you know. And, and when is a good you know, time to, to contact your ex? <laughs> when the moon is where? <laughs> when the moon is in your 7th house, the first house, if you want to contact the first one. Uh, the second one in your ninth house. <laughs> ninth house. <laughs> <laughs> Wonderful. Well, thank you so much, Nicola, for taking time uh, from your busy schedule. When I was younger, I used astrology to pick up girls. You know, it <laughs> That's dangerous. <laughs> I can explain. I can give How? a lesson. Of <laughs> How would you? Long story. It's a long story. <laughs> Yeah, we you know, should do a lesson about that. <laughs> how to pick up, how to pick up partners. You know, when you know astrology good, your life can be gay. You know, that goes towards black magic for me. <laughs> no, no, no. I'm not doing that. I'm not. Doing that. <laughs> yeah. but thank you so much. I, we we can do so many interesting interviews for people and and classes. So guys, stay tuned. Yeah, get your seat for the class in May, and we'll be doing more classes with Nicola throughout the year. Uh, and uh, you can even, uh, uh, he's got amazing ways to teach you, very practical astrology that shows you predictions, not that, not astrology that uh, is about your soul or whatever. It's astrology about specific predictions, as you can see, his, um, how he works. Thank you so much again, Nicola. Bye-bye to everybody. Greetings from Belgrade, Serbia. <laughs> Thank you. Bye, everyone. Bye-bye.